I'm Chris M. Evans. I work at a company called Architecting IT. I'm, I guess, a blogger, an analyst, technical guy. So really, it's a consulting company. On one side, we help startups, we help them understand the market, but we do a lot of writing and we help people understand how to adopt technology so they can see where technology is going in the marketplace. And some of that is quite technical, so we, we do go down to a technical level too. Well, I've been in the industry for about 30 years, so, so I've seen everything from the mainframe to client server, and obviously now hyperconverged has really um, taken off as a, an adoption model for infrastructure. First of all, when you are deploying hyperconverged, you're collapsing what would have been traditional storage into the same form factor, the same servers that you would have done that run the actual application. So now you haven't got separate storage, you have to treat the way that you do backup differently. And it means that you have to approach it from the point of view of, of looking at how you, the data moves across the network, how it transfers to uh, another platform um, externally for storage because you want to separate the production environment from the, the data that's the backup. If you don't do that, you have a, a big risk. IQ is an interesting platform because, first of all, it allows you to get right into the heart of the storage within the HCI solution. So rather than try and take the data from the actual application directly, you can get into the underlying infrastructure. And now that's a big difference because it means that you can do that backup more efficiently, quickly, more easily, less overhead. The second one that makes it more interesting is the deployment model. So I can actually spin up a backup environment very, very quickly, very, very easily, and have it running within minutes. If you look at the traditional way that we would backup an environment, um, we would have a backup server, we would have backup equipment, and that means you're running separate technology in order to back up an environment you already have. Now, as you move to HCI, you're trying to simplify your technology considerably. So you're looking to try and simplify everything you can, but to still retain a separate backup environment means you've got two sets of equipment still. Now, as you move towards looking at something like Haiku, it allows you to run your backup on the same platform that you're running your HCI. So now you don't need another platform. And they have this 4321 claim, and that's that you can learn it within four steps, you can actually deploy it within three, you can back up within two, and then you can do a one-click restore. Now, what we found was that that is true, and I can see that as we're going forward, people who are looking to put in HCI might want to look at building out backup as a service. So rather than just have backup as some sort of infrastructure overhead, it now becomes a service that the business can consume as part of their HCI solution.